I've been doing this for 10 years now. So I would say that it is pretty much the way in which I think about teaching, the way that I approach most of my classes. Um, I think the idea of discussing ideas and trying to dig deeper into different texts is the way that people learn best. It's how I learn really well, and it's I what I enjoy. I had kind of an interesting experience with Socratic because I moved here in sophomore, uh, at the beginning of sophomore year, and so previous to coming to Mazer, I had learned in just the regular public school system where we didn't have like discussions about literature, we just kind of had the teacher lecture at us. I, I love the Socratic method, and probably my best experience is when I am in class and a student says something or responds to something or has an idea and I get chills. And it helps me think of an issue or an idea in a totally new way. So if I'm not learning in Socratic, then it's not really Socratic. Um, I guess one of the advantages of the Socratic method and learning in the Socratic method is again you just learn important skills that you cannot learn um, just right away. I mean it takes practice to learn how to listen, it takes practice to learn how to think deeply and how to ask questions and good questions and, and I think that um, when we go from ninth grade to twelfth grade uh, learning in the Socratic method um, it really helps us be able to gain those skills and, and so when we leave and Mazer and we go into the world that we're able to have those skills that are will be important in future jobs and in our future lives. Or Socratic method teaches your critical thinking, helps you with your definitions, uh, like determining and abiding by definitions that you create. It helps with um, exploration, enhances your curiosity, um, and helps to create the kind of mind that can be flexible enough to continually broaden itself through additional learning. So I think that it's, uh, that's one of its big strengths. That's, one of its, that's why it's so crucial and fundamental to the Mazer mentality. I think one of the disadvantages of learning the Socratic method um, would just be familiarity. Um, I think that kids who start off right away in the Socratic method, if you get dumped into it, it can be kind of overwhelming. And especially if you're really shy and introverted, you don't really want to talk. And I think that could be a, one of the disadvantages to the Socratic to learning in the Socratic method. There, there has to be certain subjects that may not work Socratically. Um, I, I've never taught math, obviously. But I imagine that Socratic won't work for math. You want, you want to be able to explore ideas in a full way and then look at ramifications. When you use the Socratic method, you're encouraged to ask questions of what's going on. And the workplace has a lot of questions of what's going on. Sometimes you're trying to drill down into data. Sometimes you're trying to create a better product. Sometimes you have a specific task. And the way you go about doing that can be informed through a robust questioning of the premises and of defining terms and of thinking critically. Yeah, I just think um, the skills that we're learning is really important because it has really opened my eyes to seeing how the world works. And almost kind of makes me really excited for our generation, at least the people in Mazer, um, because we have such an advantage. We have learned so many skills that will help us be able to communicate better. Like, I, I feel like understanding is super important because if you don't understand an opposing viewpoint, if you don't understand any viewpoint except the one that you believe, then you really have no ground to stand on. You have no idea why you believe what you believe. And so I think the Socratic method is really, is really important to kind of broaden your understanding so that once you kind of know about all the perspectives, you can decide the one that you believe is best and true for you.